Well, hi everybody and welcome to Moodle Support Theater. We're going to pick up where we left off in our last lesson, although we are going to go to a new course shell. This one's called Movie Base, and it's set up pretty much like it was in the former version. We have our course information block in the upper right hand corner and we are in topic outline section. Now before we get going on the assignments and activities, which is what I promised you, notice we have in the center class materials assignments and links to resources and no other titles. Let's go to the upper right hand corner let's turn our editing on and in the highlighted section which is topic area 4 notice there's that hand holding the pencil. This is a summary box you're going to get so let's click on the hand holding the pencil and I'm just going to type Civil War A it's easy to type and B it sounds like something you might find in an academic class, especially if you're in the history department. And there is your little headline. You can come down to five and do the same thing. You could type reconstruction, uh, westward expansion, you know, whatever you wanted to do. The one thing you don't want to do in these summary boxes is put too much content. Don't put a movie in here. Don't put a huge illustration. These boxes have a limited amount of capacity. So use it to put pretty much, well, Civil War or Reconstruction or whatever you'd like to. Otherwise, you run the risk of freezing your course and the programmers have to go in and unthaw it. Not a pleasant procedure. Okay, notice in the center section on the right hand side we have add a resource and add an activity. In this series of videos we're going to concentrate on going through the activities and show you how to add them one at a time. So let's choose the drop down and our first series are assignments of activities. Activities are something a student will do or complete. Let's go to offline activity and give it a click and this is like every student has done from the beginning of time where you create an assignment, the student responds to that assignment, writes it down, brings it to you, you grade it, you give it back. I'm going to call this assignment chapter one typing in chapter one. I'm going to put in some content which I have copied and prepared in advance. Uh, it gives instructions on what to do about that assignment. Compare and contrast the author with what we discussed in class. Our next item is the grade. If you select the drop down in the grade box, you'll notice by scrolling up and down you can go from one point all the way up to 250 points credit, no credit, or satisfactory, even give no grade for the activity. Point, credit, no credit, for reasons unbeknownst to me, likes to come up with uh, two points. So if you only want to give one point for something, scroll to the bottom and use one point. It allows you to set available dates. You do not have to, and because nothing is turned in in Moodle, it's only going to be handed to you, it has no actual impact unless you make it very clear you will not be accepting assignments after a certain date. This does come into play for online assignments and it is good information for the students. Prevent late submissions, it doesn't really matter if you're using a offline assignment. The next thing, group mode, we'll get into group modes in another video. Visible, this is are you going to show this assignment to the student yet. It's very much like hiding it, something we covered in our basic programming. And ID number, do not put anything in this category. If you feel the need to uh, fill it in, call me. I'll talk you out of it. Grade category, this is where you can decide, and I'm using the drop down arrow. I have set up categories in my grade book. This is going to be a participation project worth 30 percent of the grade. I've prepared that. More videos ahead on how to do that in the grade book section. Really that's all you need. You've given it an assignment and you've decided if you're going to use a group and you've placed it in the proper category. We select save and return to course. And now if we come over to the activities block, the lower portion of the left hand column, we see an assignment has been created. It shows us the topic name 
it tells us the name of the assignment and if we click the name of the assignment it gives us all the assignment details when it's due what is expected that type of thing let's go back to the assignment block it tells us the assignment type the due date if you provide it and here's something very interesting for a student they would see their grade when you apply a grade you as a faculty member when you see no attempts have been made on this assignment well of course it's not going to show in Moodle if they turned anything in but go ahead and click on it and when you do you're going to have the opportunity to do quick grading notice you have the student name a drop down which gives the full value for the number of points you've chosen. You can put a small comment in here by typing it in. Do not try and copy and paste a paper in here. This is a small area like you might find on an online form. Nothing more than a couple, couple dozen words here, please. Again, it's a limited capacity item. Enter your grades. Make sure you save at the bottom, and those grades go automatically to the gradebook kind of simple. Let's come back next time and take a look at how to add an assignment and upload a single file. Very handy in a Dropbox sort of way. If you got a question between now and then, give us a call at extension 3633 because like I like to say, uh, we are here to help.